and welcome to King's Kids. It's great to see you again today and we have been amazed as per usual with what you've been getting up to. So let's take a look. King is King, it's Jesus. Lord is God, Lord is Lord. Jesus, strong God. We are now going to baptize Joshua. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yay! Hello! And welcome back to you versus me, Mike. So, I hear that last week, I won! Woo! So this week you are all going to have to try a lot harder to beat me and this week's challenge is you need to get a biscuit and you need to try and get it from your forehead to your mouth without touching it, only using your facial expressions. Um, so going to give this a go, see if you can beat me, we'll get the timer on, you ready, set, go! Oh. Okay, hold it off, getting serious. <laughs> there we go. Mm hmm. How can you do that time? I want to see you sending your videos and let's see if you can beat me this time. So that was Mike's challenge for this week. We really want to see you beating Mike. So make sure you send your time challenges doing the challenge, which are faster than Mike. So we can play them next week and that he doesn't win. <laughs> next up, we've got our worship challenge. This week's worship challenge is all about doing a holy swing. Turbo is a bit of an expert about the holy sway. Let's take a look. There was a moment when the lights went out. Death claimed its victory. King love had given up his life A dark stay in his story For the earth began to shake And the very was What sacrifice was made As the heavens rise Breaking through Paul was lost He crossed eternity 
king of life is on the move Let's sing that again There's a moment The water's a moment when the sky lit up The flash of light was breaking through And all was lost, he crossed and turned This week, it's all about living under the rule of our king. You see, when the king is on his throne, he sets out the rules for all his people. And we can read about all the different rules that God sets out for us in the Bible. Now in the Old Testament, it's a little bit different because God used to give the people so many different rules. You see, before Jesus came along and made everything a lot more easy for everyone, there was lots and lots of rules lots of different things that the people had to do to make themselves right with God. Jesus got rid of the need for all of that. But before that, there were so many rules. Now, if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, why not see if you can find the strangest rule in the whole Bible. Take a pause, and if you want to have a look, and if you find a really good one, I'll send you a massive chocolate bar. So why not take a look, pause now, and if you want to, um, my clue is you can find them in the book of Leviticus. But as I was saying, when Jesus came along, he made everything easier for us. Thank heavens. Let's read about it. So in Romans chapter 14, verses 17 to 18, it says, God's kingdom isn't a matter of what you put in your stomach, for goodness sake. It's what God does with your life as he sets it right puts it together and completes it with joy. Your task is to single-mindedly serve Christ. Do that and you will kill two birds with one stone, pleasing the God above you and providing your worth to the people around you. So God wants us to serve him. And he gives two reasons as why serving him is important. The first reason is because it pleases him, it makes him happy. And the second reason is because it shows others what our God is like. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says here's another way to put it you're here to be light bringing out the God colors in the world God is not a secret to be kept we're going public with this as public as a city on a hill if I make you light bearers you don't think I'm gonna hide you under a bucket do you I'm putting you on a light stand now that I put you on a hilltop on a light stand shine Keep open house and be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens when we do that experiment. Okay, so I've turned the lights off and I want to show you what it would be like if you were an actual light. So here you are. This is a light. This is you. And remember, our world is a bit dark because sin is in it. So if you imagine everywhere being dark, your school, your street, everywhere. Now, if you're the light, you kind of have to be in those places to help light places up. Because if you hide away, if you hide the Jesus in you, look what happens. <laughs> it's hidden, it's gone, no one can see it. So you have to show people your Jesus. And when you do, when you're kind, when you bring hope, when you bring peace, when you show love, when you choose not to say a bad word because you remember that you're different, that you're set apart, God's light flows out of you. When you represent God by living his way, light will shine out of you to everyone you come across. And look how amazing, look at the brightness it brings to this room. If I hide it again, my entire room looks dark. But when I lift it up, as high as it'll go, <laughs> it shines all around. And that is what you can be when you have God inside you, when you don't hide it, when you shine it out, when you tell people about God, when you show people his love and his hope and his joy and his peace. It's not about being happy all the time. It's not about knowing the answers all the time, but it is relying on our God because he is in control. Okay, so what's the challenge? Well, the challenge is to not be ashamed of your relationship with God. 
is to let the God in you shine out of you, just like that light did in the darkness. So here's some questions for you to think about. And I pray that God would give you the courage to show everyone around you the fact that you have an amazing, life-changing relationship with Him. Take a few moments and consider these questions. We've had a great time chatting about light and being a light this week. Oh, what's that, Turbo? Ah, you've been doing some light themed pictures. We would love to see what kind of pictures you could make about this topic. So if you'd like to do one, we'd love to take a look. And oh, what's that? That's you being the light. Good job, Turbo. Have a great week, everyone. And please send videos or pictures or little quotes, or if you want to write to him a letter, feel free. We'd love to read it out. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.